Hey guys, how's it going? Alex here with Big Money Theory. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today I would like to talk to you about the stocks I mentioned in my previous videos and see how they perform throughout the day, if I was correct about some of the stocks or if I was wrong. But before we dive in, I would ask you to leave a like, drop a comment, consider subscribing to the channel. That will help to grow the channel and spread my knowledge with more people. Now, let's jump into the stocks I mentioned in previous videos. The first stock we're going to be talking about is HCMC, Healthier Choice Management Corp. Well, these guys took a beating today. They went down 28% from the peak they had in the beginning of the market. And uh, that's quite a bit of correction, I'd say, which I think is healthy for this company. So these guys, even they had a bumpy ride at one point of time, they went up 233% and since then they lost 29%, which is healthy. They needed a correction. For the small company, which market cap is $520 million right now, but when I first mentioned this company was like a week and a half ago, they were 0 0.0008, I think, dollars per, um, per stock. Now, they, now they're 6x since then. So they needed a correction. It's good, it's healthy. Now, as I mentioned before, these guys don't really have any good news. And um, all the people who are pushing the stock up are actually betting on them winning against Philip Morris. This company is getting noticed more and more and more every day. So there are going to be more people throwing money into it, hoping it's going to go up. But there are also going to be more people shorting this company in hopes that they're going to get some easy money. So we're going to see volatility for this company quite a bit, but I think that they will continue the uptrend eventually. Next company is MJNA, Medical Marijuana Inc. So these guys uh, took 10% bidding today, but at one point of time, they lost 26% at the beginning of the trading day, and then they gained another 26% back, which is a positive trend majority of the down movement to, we saw in some of the stocks today due to the small correction we started on Wednesday and that's just the aftermath of that small correction. It didn't hit too much of the bigger companies but penny stocks just were going up and down like crazy. This company still have uh, good potential. Uh, they one of the first companies, I think they're actually the first company ever, first marijuana company that was actually trading on the stock market. So they have great potential um, because they just had that huge correction of 26%. I think it might be a good entry point coming Monday. But um, with those penny stocks, kind of be careful. I just wanted to remind you that penny stocks can make you a lot of money, but they can also lose all of your money. So just be careful, be cautious about that. Um, next company is High Tide Inc. Ticker H-I-T-I-F. These guys didn't have as pleasant of the day, so they corrected 5%, then they jumped up 1.5%. But we can see that the, for the rest of the day, their trend was downward. Uh, and, you know, compare that to MJNA, which the trend was upward for the most of the day, except, you know, the beginning of the day correction. So for this company, they probably going to have nicer days soon. But at this particular po point, I don't really believe that much. We can also see that for the past five days, it was actually downtrend and they lost 25% of the company, which I, I don't, which doesn't really make me very comfortable recommending this company Monday, you know, or next week. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what's going to happen with them Monday. Next company is MMEX Resources, sticker MMEX. Again, they took a bidding in the beginning of the market. They crashed 45, well, 46% within just minutes of the opening of the market. And then they bounced back and it crashed again. And then we're trading sideways. I don't really know how this company is going to perform when the market opens on Monday. I would keep an eye on this, but I would probably hold on if you want to buy this company. We'll see what the new week brings in. The next company I talked about was Artificial Intelligence Technology Solution, ticker AITX. Uh, those guys lost 12%. And, you know, within five days, we can see that they were gaining, you know, 75%. And then they had a correction and this correction still going. So they lost another 
great company, good financials, like everything about this company, but it was a rough week, so they just followed the downward trend for the penny stocks. Next company I talked about was American Lithium Minerals, ticker AMLM. So again, these guys took a bidding at the beginning of the day, lost 10%, but then they had uptrend and they eventually closed 1.26% up. By the way, if you want to see what rough market does to the penny stocks, look at the five-day trend. They were going up and nice and what whatnot, and then it's just like, oh, what, the, what, what, what's happening? What, what? It just took a bidding and up and down, up and down. So that's this is exactly shows you why penny stocks are high risk and high reward. So if you look at the beginning of the week, these guys went up 20% within the first two trading days, but then they crashed down 20% and uh, continued trading sideways on the day number three. So if you put your money in the beginning of the trading week on Monday, you gained 20%. If you put your money there on Tuesday, you lost 20%. And with bigger companies, with big market caps, you know, Apple, Tesla, well, Tesla is a different story, but, you know, Apple, Microsoft, AMD, whatnot, like big companies, they, you don't see that. They either might be on the uptrend, slowly gaining the momentum and, you know, increasing the price of their stocks or on the downtrend or maybe sideways, but you don't see 20% within one day. And another thing that's interesting to me, a lot of people are investing right now in anything that is connecting to the batteries. So if you have a company that mines the minerals that are necessary for lithium-ion batteries, and you have a word American in it, you're golden. Look at this. American lithium minerals. You know, within a month, they gain at one point 460%. <laughs> Next company, American Resources Corp. Uh, they gained 230% within one month before we got correction. Next kind of company, American Battery Metals Corp. Within one month, these guys went up 250% before they got correction. The next company, Global Battery Metals, it doesn't have a word American in it. Uh, they went up 1,150%, but they are based in Vancouver. So technically American. It seems like if you are based in North America and you have a word American in your company's name, people are going to be throwing money at you. But, uh, you know, jokes aside, uh, I think because we're entering the, the new era of EV vehicles, uh, you know, um, solar generated power or green energy power, and um, we're going to be using more and more batteries, these companies actually have a lot of potential. I will be most likely creating a video of this Sunday uh, where I'm going to go through what the market looks like and, you know, kind of my prediction going on, what might be interesting areas of the market to invest in the long term. Uh, so check out my video on Sunday. Next company I talked about was Neovask Inc, ticker NVCN. Now, comparing to the everything that's connected to the batteries, this is a different story. So if there is a company that is connected to bioscience, medical, genomics or whatnot, so anything connected to the medical area is just doing great lately. We can see the Nervask ticker NVCN. Um, these guys gained 5% throughout the day and another 2% after market. Five days looks great. We had that uh, big correction on Tuesday, but if you look on the long trend, they still gained 55% within past five days, and within a month, 80-80%. Next company is Innerscope here in Technologies. These guys gained 6% throughout the day, though they had a correction. They had a very, very nice correction in the beginning of the market day today. They lost 34% within the first hour of trading, but then they gained back, and they gained 45%, and they ended up day in positive 6%, which is, which is amazing. They didn't pretty much trade at the beginning of the January, and we can say that these guys went up 524% within the past two weeks, which is very nice. So again, if you're a small market cap company and you connected to the medicine or something into that area, you're golden.
Next company I'm going to talk about is Dermtech Inc, ticker DMTK. These guys went 14% up throughout the day, another 5% aftermarket. Just looks beautiful. Uh, past five days, 27%. Past month, 94%. Past six months, 500%. Now, these guys are performing very well, and we will most likely be doing video tomorrow, Saturday, about this company in particular, because I love what they do. Um, they have great potential. I think they're going to push market even higher. Next company, Bionanogenomics. Everybody likes it, ticker BNGO. They had some great news yesterday. And uh, look at this five-day trend. They went up 28%. Month tr monthly trend, 140%. Everybody likes it. Again, if you're connected to the genomics or medicine, or if your name is bio nano genomics, so you have bio and you have nano and you have genomics in your name, you're golden. People are going to be throwing money at you. But you know, jokes aside, this is actually a great company. I'm very happy with their performance. I think they definitely worth it. Uh, check them out. I will do a video on them most likely tomorrow as well. And the last company from yesterday's video, Churchill Capital Corp, ticker CCIV. There are rumors that this guy is going to be merging with Lucid and those rumors are louder and louder. So people think that they're going to announce some positive news, like that they're going to sign paperwork with Lucid sometimes, maybe this weekend or coming week. So these guys are shooting up. As soon as they follow up with the merger, this stock price is going to go even higher. So a lot of people betting on this right now and overall positive. I personally think that they're going to merge with Lucid, but we'll see what's going to happen. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I plan on doing an another video tomorrow where I'm going to recap all the stocks I recommended throughout the week. On Sunday, I plan on uploading another video where I will discuss where I think the market is going. And I'll probably going to create a video about Derm Teching because I really like the company and I have high hopes for, the, for these guys. And once again, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And if you like the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing, maybe leaving a comment. That will help to grow the channel and help me share knowledge with more people. Thank you so much for your time and have a great weekend.